Hey guys, let's get more news about Dallas, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Cowboys vs. Commanders, Cooper Rush's career day helped offense get back on track. Not many things have gone right this season for the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas defense, which was ravaged by injuries after the first three weeks of the season, has started to turn a corner a bit as they've gotten healthy. The defense has been playing better, more competitive football, but before yesterday's game against the Commanders, the same could not be said about Dallas offense. The Cowboys' offense, which led the league in points scored two of the past three seasons, was a mess even before Dak Prescott suffered a season-ending hamstring injury. After Prescott's departure, things got even worse. In their past two games, Dallas scored a total of 16 points and turned the ball over seven times. This didn't present much optimism for the matchup against a 7-4 commander's team. But for the first time in weeks, we saw the Cowboys' offense have sustained success on Sunday. Dallas finished the day with 34 points as a team, although only 20 came from the offense. While 20 offensive points isn't a great feat, there was a night and day difference in their offensive attack this week versus last. The Cowboys had success on the ground and through the air, and finally were able to move the ball down the field consistently. If it wasn't for some special team mishaps, Dallas' offense could have been responsible for 26 points. A big reason the Cowboys were able to have success on offense was the performance of quarterback Cooper Rush. The veteran quarterback had really struggled in his first two starts of the season, but he completely flipped the script on Sunday. Rush put together the best overall performance of his NFL career, completing 24 of 32 passes for 247 yards and two touchdowns. Rush's 117.6 passer rating was a career high, as was his 75% completion percentage. Among all qualified quarterbacks in Week 12, Rush finished in the top 12 in EPA plus CPOE, 0.128 tenth, EPA slash play, 0.175 twelfth, and success rate, 52.5% sixth. Rush wasn't Patrick Mahomes back there, in fact he was still far from it, but he was decisive with his throws, protected the football, and made much better decisions than we've seen from him in weeks past. Is Cooper Rush capable of replicating this performance moving forward? Probably not, but it was still nice to see him, for at least one week, put together a performance he and the Cowboys' offense could be proud of. In a lost season, Dallas' offenses needed this in a big way. This performance will give them some confidence as they enter the final six games of the regular season. Cowboys' Cavandi Turpin makes fastest player claim after viral TD return. Dallas Cowboys return specialist slash wideout Cavandi Turpin made a bold claim about himself a day after his viral kickoff return touchdown against the Washington Commanders. Head coach Mike McCarthy's team had a shocking victory at Northwest Stadium on Sunday as backup quarterback Cooper Rush had his best performance of the year. Turpin's 99-yard touchdown return sealed the upset in a play where the 2022 United States Football League MVP showcased his trademark speed. In a quote to Dallas Cowboys insider Ed Werder, Turpin showed confidence in his biggest strength. I have always been the fastest person on this planet. That's how I feel. I feel like I'm the fastest player in the NFL. To save everyone time from searching it up, Cavanti Turpin ran a 4.31 second 40-yard dash on his pro day in 2019. That is a blazing time, but by no means the fastest ever in that event. To compare, Xavier Worthy currently holds the record among NFL players in the 40, running 4.21 seconds at the 2024 NFL Combine. Despite that difference, a 40 time is never the best indication of a player's speed. 49ers icon Jerry Rice famously ran a 4.71 time for this event and went on to look way faster than that in pads. Nevertheless, Turpin made everyone else on the field look like they were in slow motion in this viral play. The touchdown return is the TCU alum's second of the season, the other being on a 60-yard punt return against the Cleveland Browns. 
Turpin additionally has caught 21 passes for 275 yards and two touchdowns. Looking ahead, the Cowboys will need Turpin to consistently showcase his speed to stay competitive over the next few weeks. Mike McCarthy is firmly on the hot seat for a team decimated by injuries, and the Cowboys will need to win out to realistically stay in playoff contention. Still, the next four games for Dallas are very winnable. Over the next month, America's team will host the New York Giants, Cincinnati Bengals, and Tampa Bay Buccaneers and travel to Charlotte to take on the Carolina Panthers. After those games come two pivotal late-season matchups against the Philadelphia Eagles and Washington Commanders. It's a tall task to ask Dallas to win out, especially with star quarterback Dak Prescott out for the season. However, the Cowboys came into the Commanders game as heavy underdogs and won. Maybe this one victory can spark one of the most remarkable turnarounds in recent memory. Still, whether Mike McCarthy and company can pull off an early Christmas miracle remains to be seen. Des Bryant on recent Dallas Cowboys head coach rumor, I love it. The Dallas Cowboys might have picked up a recent win over an NFC East rival in the Washington Commanders, but they still have overarching problems. Sure, they went out and won the game, but it took a rocky special teams game and the Cowboys' defense stepping up in a big way. The Cowboys ended up coming away with a big 34-26 road victory over the Commanders. They advanced to 4-7 on the season with the win. However, Dallas is still playing backup quarterback Cooper Rush with Dak Prescott sidelined with injury. They've still got other major roster holes and inefficiencies. Even with the win, it would appear as if Mike McCarthy will be on his way out of the DFW after this season. His tenure with the club will likely come to an end at the season's end, and the Cowboys will look for the next head man to lead the squad. Many have tossed around plenty of ideas. One of the most popular suggestions for the Cowboys' potential eventual head coaching vacancy is legendary Dallas superstar Deion Sanders, who was magnificent at every level of football he played. However, a Jason Witten rumor has started to swirl. The former tight end was a Cowboys superstar and icon. He's another name that's beloved in the city. Former Cowboys wide receiver and teammate of Witten, Des Bryant, loves the move, as he made clear on social media. I saw a rumor about Jason Witten for the Dallas Cowboys coaching job. I love it. Bryant shared on social media. Witten played in Dallas for 16 years, coming away with 11 Pro Bowl nods. His coaching experience is coaching at a local high school, however, which could limit the role in which he could land with the Cowboys. As an assistant, Witten could thrive. He could learn from a seasoned head coach and eventually take the keys to the franchise as a legend within the building. The rumor is quite interesting, and it would help Jerry Jones capture the hearts of Cowboys fans who are quite upset with him amid the team's brutal season. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Jason Witten? Leave your opinion in the comments.